Hello everyone, this is the Salty Bunny and today, for you, I have another video nobody asked for. As we play as Erlane, we often overlook that most of the game is grounded in actual historical events, ships, weapons etc. All that, sprinkled with some fiction over a science fiction backdrop. Since there is an interesting history behind it, today, let's delve into the core data shop special equipment, the certificate of sponsorship. Yes dear viewer, before you ask, let me tell you that this equipment was real. An oath between battleship Bismarck and the Type 7C submarine U-556. We have already covered this special equipment in the core data shop video. As we have seen, this auxiliary equipment affect both U-556 and Bismarck, and their Meteor Type 2 rig iterations. The certificate of sponsorship does the following, depending on the ship it is equipped on, this grants, the unfulfilled promise. When equipped by U-556 or U-556 Meta, it increases the time she can stay in combat after surfacing by 4 seconds. Increases her hunting range by 1. When equipped by Bismarck or Bismarck 2, it decreases the effect of the out of ammo debuff from 50% to 35% on the main fleet. Now we know about the in-game equipment, let's us move on and see where this all come from, shall we? It happens that at the Blom and Voss shipyard in Hamburg, Germany, Bismarck and U-556 were both constructed at the same time. The end of their respective construction were completed fairly close one to another. Bismarck was commissioned in August 1940, and U-556 commissioning ceremony was due for January 1941. The submarine, under the command of Captain Lieutenant Herbert Wolfarth, could not afford any fancies for the upcoming ceremony. Bismarck commanding officer, Captain Ernst Lindemann, lent his battleship band to the submarine crew for the commissioning. The certificate of sponsorship was humorously drawn by Wolfarth as a thanks to Bismarck commander and crew. The certificate is a promise that the submarine will protect the battleship. On the upper part we can see the Knight Parzival, which was the submarine's nickname, on the deck of the submarine intercepting a torpedo with his thumb, while taking aircrafts down with a sword. On the lower part, U-556 is towing the battleship back to port. The central text reads, We, U-556, 500 tons, hereby declare before Neptune, Lord over oceans, seas, lakes, rivers, brooks, ponds, and rivulets that we will provide any desired assistance to our big brother, the battleship Bismarck, 42,000 tons, at any place on the water, underwater, on land, or in the air. Hamburg, the 28th of January 1941. Commander and crew U-556. For what happens next, to see what happened to Bismarck, I suggest you to watch Drachnefeld's Operation Rainy Bung, first and last voyage of the Bismarck, link in the description below. At the same time that the battleship was engaged by the Royal Navy, U-556 was returning from its successful first patrol. Out of torpedo and low on fuel. The submarine course back home crossed the path of HMS Renown and Dark Royal, both were sailing with no destroyer escorts at high speed in a straight line without zigzagging, in hot pursuit of Bismarck. In its current state, the submarine could only submerge to avoid being spotted and report the sighting as Ark Royal was launching her second air strike on Bismarck. The two British ships, Bismarck and the submarine course, all pretty much, coincided. U-556 surfaced and followed at full speed behind the Royal Navy ships and eventually reached Bismarck location. Helpless to do anything for the battleship, Wolfe's War Diary contains these entries for the 27th of May 1941. Midnight, wind, northwest 5, seaway 5, rain squalls, moderate visibility, very dark night. Surfaced. 
what can I do for Bismarck? I can see star shells being fired in flashes from Bismarck's guns. It is a terrible feeling to be near and not to be able to do anything. All I can do is reconnoiter and lead in boats that have torpedoes. I am keeping contact at the limit of visibility, reporting the position, and sending directional signals to call up the other boats. 3.52 AM, I am moving around on the east side to the south, in order to be in the direction of the activity. I soon reach the limit of what I can do in view of my fuel supply. Otherwise, I won't get home. 4 AM, the seas are rising ever higher. Bismarck still fighting. Reported weather for the Luftwaffe. Later, as 6.30 AM U556 sighted U-74 and transferred her the mission to keep contact with Bismarck. He gave U-74 Bismarck's last known position based on his observations of the star shells fired during the night, adding, I have not seen her directly. You assume contact. I have no more fuel. U-556 then submerged and headed back to port. On their way to Lorient, the submarine resurfaced at noon, where Wolfhart learned that the last battle of Bismarck was over and the battleship was lost. Later, Wolfhart received personally from Admiral Karl Dunitz the Knight's Cross. U-556 was sunk a month later on its second patrol. Hit by a depth charge, five of her crews were killed and 41 survived, rescued and taken prisoner by the Royal Navy. Herbert Wolfarth survived the war and passed away on August 1982 in Villingen, Germany, at the age of 67. In Azerlein, during the event Scherzo of Iron and Blood, during Chapter 19 of the event, U-556 reached Bismarck wreck location and re-enacted the creation of the certificate. I, U-556, hereby declare before Neptune, Lord over oceans, seas, lakes, rivers, brooks, ponds, and rivulets, that I will provide any desired assistance to my ally and lord, battleship Bismarck, at any place on the water, underwater, on land, or in the air. Signed, U-556, Parzival of the Seas. At the bottom, U-556 had made a drawing of herself towing her Lord Bismarck back to port. This is pretty much it for this short fact of fiction video. We do have a small guild on Lexington server, so, if you are looking for one, feel free to join us. Infos are in the description. Well, that's it for today, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below, you can also like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If you did not really cared about any of this stuff, thank you for watching and reaching this point. This was the Salty Bunny and thank you for watching the video. We're done for now.